Okay, I'm going to show you how to do um, one of the um, most important uh, and yet easy, relatively easy jobs using the right tools, um, which is testing the um, vacuum engine mounts. So we've got the front mount just here, and all I'm going to do is pull off the vacuum pipe just here. And if your um, engine mounts are shot, what can happen is um, uh, it can produce uh, on on this engine vacuum is used to um, to activate the turbo to move the turbo actuator. So if you've got a vacuum leak here on your engine mounts, either the front or the rear, vacuum's being lost, and then as the control valve is switching between supplying vacuum and not supplying vacuum and what have you, if you've got a vacuum leak, you can get all sorts of um, issues going on. So. Um, and on this I think it's ultimately been the cause of an overboost issue which I don't know whether you can see but the uh, the boost pipe uh, while well, going to the intercooler just here it's absolutely caked in oil and I have a lot of oil down there it's not an oil leak as such it's more like an oil spurting so um, so yes yeah, so I'm going to connect the vacuum pump up to um, the mount and try and pull a vacuum and see what happens Okay, so I've got the vacuum pump here. Whoops. Okay, got the vacuum pump here. Just going to put the, my, my thumb over the end just to make sure we can get a vacuum, make sure I've got a good seal. Yeah, that's fine because um, I've connected up hoses here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it down onto the engine mount now. So, down in the bay, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Just going to put the hose onto the mount there. Okay, that's nicely seated on there now. And so all I'm going to do now is just pump up the, um, the vacuum gauge and what I'm looking to see is, um, is for the mount to hold vacuum. So as I, as I pump the lever, let's just see if I can get a focus on this, as I pump the lever the vacuum will rise and then I want it to hold it. Okay, um, so let's see what happens. And there we go it's pretty open and shut that so the mount isn't holding uh, vacuum at all there uh, it's not completely shot at least it is allowing some vacuum to build up but it's just not then holding it so unfortunately uh, that's that front engine mount is shot and um, is going to be causing me issues so I now just need to check the rear mount okay so under the engine on here so what have we got we've got the oil sump just here so that's where the oil drain plug is and then we go further towards the back and there's the turbo just there you can see in that gap there that is the rear engine mount rear vacuum mount and the biggest problem that you have is um, is getting the tester onto it because uh, the pipe is very very inaccessible um, I can't even I don't even think I can get a focus it comes in over the top so I'm gonna have to do this another way but just looking at it there that mount looks absolutely shot to me so I don't think this is uh, gonna be holding any vacuum at all you can you can see how it's uh, it's just not in line at all I think that's absolutely knackered so I'll show you the alternative way which isn't ideal but better than nothing okay so to test the rear mount on this we've got the turbo control valve here follow the pipe work and it goes to this T junction here so one goes to the front mount and the other piece goes to the rear mount so I'm just going to 
disconnect that pipe there and connect up the vacuum tester there. Okay, so we've got the vacuum tube connected up. So that's the feed pipe to the rear mount. I'm gonna do the same test again, just pump in this. Absolutely nothing. Now, the problem that I've got here is it could be the pipe work, could be a split in the pipe, so um, I'll just try and eliminate that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. So we've got, we've got the mount just there, and if I come through here, see just just there see where the pliers are touching that's the pipe that feeds the mount so what I'm going to do all I'm going to do is just crimp I don't think this is going to work but anyway I don't think it's going to work on camera it's going to work um, so all I'm going to do is, is crimp that pipe okay and then do the vacuum test again and um, and if, if I can get a vacuum with the pipe crimped, that shows that the pipe, at least from there forwards, is actually okay. And the, and the vacuum loss is, is further back. So it could still be the pipe connection, but if, if this passes the vacuum test here, that's going to be good enough for me. And, uh, and like I say, from the state of that mount, I think it's, um, I think it's dead anyway. So, uh, so let me just get it crimped and uh, do another test. Okay, so I've got the, the pliers on the pipe. So let's try now. Yeah, so the pipe's actually fine, the pipe's holding vacuum if I let go, let go of the pliers and then reapply. The pipe works fine, it's the mount that's shot. So the front mount is at least letting vacuum build up but not holding it, the rear mount isn't even letting any vacuum build up. So um, that's two new mounts that I'm going to have to do and uh, I'm going to change those. Uh, if I can be bothered, I'll do a video. It might be one of those where I'll just crack on and do it. I'll see how I get on. Anyway, hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching.